Hello again and welcome. It's me and me. It's Joy. It's Joy Ruffin coming to you from the Sunshine State. My friends, yesterday, I think, or the day before, time drifts by sometimes when you're doing what you love. I think we spoke about burnout and being drained. Well, let's talk today about doing the things that you love, doing the things that you enjoy, and making those a part of the work and the career and the profession that you are in, because that's important. So how do you go about discovering and finding out what are the things that you really enjoy? Well, let's start with pen and paper. Let's get a little list, a journal, whatever, however you want to see it, and jot down some of the things that you really, really, not some of the things, all of the things that you really enjoy doing and that it's a pleasure for you to do, that you get a lot of enjoyment out of doing problems that you like to solve and why you like to solve these problems, the people that you like to be around and why you enjoy being around them. How much do you gain and get and learn from them and vice versa? What are you giving off to them that they can walk away with something that they learned from you? What are the gifts and natural talents that you have? What is it that really perks you up and that you could do for hours and hours on end? And don't get tired. And all of a sudden you realize it's time to go to the bathroom. Or you're thirsty and you'd like a drink of water or something cool and refreshing. Or for that matter, warm. Those are the things that you need to be aware of. Because those are the things that will ultimately be a part of whatever it is that you want to do. And make a success of for you in your life. It's important to really know what you enjoy. Do you enjoy doing quizzes? Do you like quizzes? Do you like puzzles? Do you enjoy reading? What type of reading do you enjoy doing? You need to know what really pushes your buttons in the best way. And once you have a list of that or those things, then you'll be able to put together, if you're not sure here and now, and if you have some question marks and concerns about, am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing what's best for me? Is it filling me up? Is it giving me a sense of fulfillment? And all of that. Is this part of my purpose? Once you have that list, and it might sound a little bit elementary, but once you get that list and you see and you know what you enjoy, the picture will arrive and you'll begin to see and really fully understand what it is that turns you on in the best way. So take a look and read today at the blog. Do share it with others and then get back to me leaving me your comments. It's your beginning if this is the point where you are at now. So my friend until the next time be well, take care, look after yourself and then you're able to look after others and know that I'll be back with you again and soon. Enjoy the day. Bye bye for now. Cheers.